we are in the 16th chapter isn't it children and we have seen what is uh, 16th chapter mean meant to us we have made this small homework where we keep our good and we delete our bad qualities so at the end of the chapter we will i will circulate uh, we will have this uh, competition not a that competition as we have in the schools but competition within that how many of the good qualities are added can i ask one question how many good qualities are there in this chapter explained by bhagwan how many are there the first three verses 24 yeah 22 i 26. guess because okay so 26 to 24 we have and there are many more bad qualities also we are going to see what i could write good qualities only five so i have to have 21 good qualities more and as you know there are seven one, good qualities very good vishnu you have seven good qualities so how many more you can get 19 more good qualities we can have isn't it so having good qualities having a dharmic way of life in this difficult uh, lifestyle of us is called as yagna to be disciplined to achieve that is called yagna today you are all coming in time you are even though the schedule was changed you all could make up to this class is a discipline and listening to the class with full concentration is yagna so anything which you perform willfully without any distraction is yagna so the fourth chapter it talks about how the good people how the satvik people or the people who are achieving their goal correctly how they behave the entire chapter fourth chapter talks about this this chapter which we are going to learn and we are in middle of the chapter is 16 chapter we all saw there is a right way to achieve a goal and the only goal which bhagwan tell us to achieve the highest goal is moksha the other goals like studying getting degrees earning money for living and acquiring things are also important at your age studies are very important after some time you will get degrees in colleges then as your parents are uh, doing hard work to achieve the livelihood and set goals for themselves that is also important but finally everyone has to reach the highest goal the prathama purushartha that is moksha the freedom which we always uh, this the scriptures tell us so to achieve a goal we have different ways and we have different swabhavas as we have seen through this three characters in the kung fu panda movie that guna sampat are different they are different daivi sampat who are good qualities and asuri sampat who are having bad qualities and rakshasi who have very very bad qualities so but these are mixed like none of us are only smiling or only crying we are all having three qualities at the times when we can we are smiling sometimes we will cry and sometimes we will be stable so these three swabhavas are there in each one of us so i see the yellow one and the red one you are in the yellow one and the red one yeah, yellow, you never cry yellow one more and the uh, red one less okay that's good so you are more in the daivi sampat right yes sir very good then you are in the right path uh, vishnu for me i am not sure i think it's equal equal or something okay we really is equal i know which one i am i i feel i sometimes frown i sometimes smile Sir, okay. same with okay. me. I sometimes smile and I sometimes cry. Okay. Sir, I'm mix okay. of yellow and green, uh, red one, but uh, only rarely like uh, like it is ninety percent yellow, then twenty uh, percent red, one percent green. Okay, that's nice. And what about the nine percent left? If you are if you are ninety percent happy and then twenty percent sad, how is that correct? Then it adds up to a hundred and ten percent. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead. 
i like that everyone is uh, um trying to explain in their way that we have all the swabhavas we have daivi swabhava we have rakshasi also we get angry isn't it we get sad also so that is not unnat not natural it is natural to all of us what we have to understand through this bhagwat bhagwan's teaching is how to get out of that anger the sadness and how to be happy as much as possible you can't be happy always but try to be happy if not 100% 99% okay that's what bhagwan is trying to tell us and through this target game as we have three swabhavas if we have raj rakshasi swabhava then as the first side you can see this you can never hit your goal you will be away far far away from the target whatever you do will never reach the results in the middle swabhava you will you will have you will reach near but you will never go exactly on the target and, and if you are daivi sampat as vishnu was saying he is 99% daivi sampat and he never cries then he is hitting exactly the middle of target okay last time diya has already 70% happy okay good so let us write down in that paper what are your qualities what are bad qualities you will yourself get in the end and the whole exercise is to reduce the bad qualities so here this is talking about the so set I'm of bring the paper and pen okay so arrogance in one of these verses arrogance harshness all these were bad qualities and children what is this asuri people are they are always behind something which is not the real goal they are always for artha that is money ma'am they are uh, sir they always have a scheme up their sleeve correct so they have the scheme up their sleeves these people are always trying to show they will always like to have different things around them always they want to have praise from others they are pretentious they, they are very arrogant because once you get everything you become arrogant and such people are called materialistic people with an example i will tell you what is materialism now see this person he is hanging on a branch of a tree that branch is already been started bitten by two mouse or rats big rats with the sharp teeth they are trying to bite that down lord is trying to help him lord is giving a hand please come take my help and come out of this materialism and down if he falls you can see there are snakes there are different creatures poisonous creatures and on top of this one big elephant with huge tusk with his whole might is trying to shake this tree but such people the asuric people will always try to lick one drop of honey which is maybe so insignificant when god himself is going to provide much more than this so this is what is materialism and bhagwan says don't be materialistic don't be away from dharma the right dharma here would be take help of lord come out of this and lord has much more to give to you in asuri sampat we saw 